Blends with most skin tones. Ear to ear lace with a wide five inch deep hand tied part. Pre plot with baby hair along the hairline. Natural and full maximum density. And then it tells you the available colors they have it in. And on the back it says normal lace versus the butter lace. Okay. So, this is what old girl looks like on the stock card. And I think we have the same color. I think she has on a one two. But child, I don't think they told me. Did they tell me? If she don't, it's a one or a one B. Because it's definitely dark. Okay, and then on the inside, it's just showing her once again. And y'all, she is definitely, definitely slaying this unit. I know sometimes with wigs, we can get them be like a child, you know. It's ne the stock card is never like the best picture. But oh girl, she's just so doggone pretty. I don't know if it's because she's pretty or they really just laid that wig. But it looks so good on her. And then over here, it's showing the available colors. And then on the back, it is showing the difference between the normal lace and the butter lace. Okay, so they said it's virtually undetectable, and I agree. Like, I feel like you can still sort of see it. Now, I did decide to utilize the baby hairs. You don't have to if you don't want to. Like, honey, just smooth up, smooth them on back. I know everybody don't like baby hairs. I am somebody that like either. I don't care. Sometimes I am feeling baby hair. Sometimes I'm not. I'm just like just one of those people. But I know some people don't. So you can definitely um, just push them in, honey. Okay, just just push them in now. Uh, also. Uh, as far as shedding and tangling goes with this wig, I'm going to keep it a whole buck, y'all. When I have units like this, I don't really like to run my fingers through it a whole lot. But I do have that, uh, this pure silicone spray. Child, it's a, it's a game changer. I also have that down below in the description box as well. But it is definitely a game changer and it really, really does help. Uh, but I didn't want to run my fingers through it because I really just wanted to preserve the look of it like this. So, you, you do what you want to, but... I can't really let you know whether or not it's super shed, I mean, super tangly or not. As far as shedding, I haven't noticed any. That's not to say, oh, girl, won't do none of the things at some point. Because I'm sure she will. I'm sure she will. <laughs> but right now, it is not. And as far as it being big head friendly, in my opinion, it's definitely big head friendly. I did have to adjust the straps, crisscross applesauce. I am an average cap size. So, do with that what you want to do with that. That is purely speculation. And, yeah, that is it. Goodness gracious. Now, we can get into my pros and cons with this wig. Okay, y'all, so we're gonna start with the cons because I like to end on a high note. My con is gonna be the price. I think it is a really nice unit, but I think like they just getting outrageous with these prices, honey. I don't care if old girl is 28 inches. She is still synthetica and she is still a lace part wig. Back in the day, when a unit was 40, like $45, she was gonna front. You know what I mean? I personally do prefer and do like uh, closures and lace parts and stuff, but I feel like you're not getting enough lace to pay $45. That is just my opinion. Like, but I guess that's just sort of like an old school mentality at this point. Like, now all of them just high. So maybe it's just a me thing. Let me know down below what you guys think. Do you think it's worth $45? Okay, so my pros is I love the, the texture of this unit. I love the curls. I love the hairline. Heck, I even like the baby hairs. Now I did have to cut them, obviously. <clears throat> but I also love that about this unit as well. So, those are my pros with this wig. Would I recommend it? I think it just depends. I think it just depends on you, your budget, and what you, you deem worthy and unworthy. Um, $45 is, can be a lot of money for a wig. And I'm not sure how much it is on uh, wig types. Let's look right quick. Child, it looks like it's more on wig types. It's $53 on wig types. So, honey, go, go, go to Amazon. <laughs> what is the point? So, um, it just depends. I think it just depends on you and it depends on your budget. It looks like to me that Amazon actually has this wig the, at the cheapest. And it's going to get to you super fast. So, I definitely say get a girl from Amazon, honey. Don't go to the other sites. <laughs> say your coins. So, yeah. Uh, I personally... I would buy this unit again, uh, but it, like I said, once again, it just depends on you and your budget. Let me know. Let me know what y'all think. I need to know. <laughs> okay, y'all. So, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys this full 360 and lint check so we can wrap this thing all the way up. So, this is obviously the unit in the front. This is it on the left side. This is it in the back. Keep in mind, I am 5'4". And this is it on the right side. Okay, so once again, 
again, let me know down below what you guys think. Let me know if you think the unit is worth it or not. I am interested in your thoughts and opinions. Please sound off in the comments. Holla at your girl. Let me know. And yeah, y'all. <laughs> That's all. That's all. So, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions and stuff like I may not have left out, feel free to comment down below. And if you're not already subscribed, girl, click the subscribe button. It's not going to cost you not one red cent. And if you're not already following me on all my social media platforms, I am Disasters. Be on both IG and TikTok. I'm Hell to Miss on Snapchat. And I'm Disasters. Be on Twitter. And I will see you love folks next time. Bye. Got every style and weekly. Disasters.